As we head into the Labor Day weekend, the NYPD is preparing new tactics to tackle gun violence. Shootings are up citywide for the most part, but one neighborhood is experiencing a decline. CBS 2's Ali Bauman explains what's working. I'm scared. Very scared for my life. A.V. Pope lives in Flatbush, one of the five Brooklyn precincts where gun violence has skyrocketed this summer. I used to work at night and I, I stop, you know, I give up my night, my night job because when I come home and the, the train at night, it's not safe. Citywide, there was a 166% increase in shooting incidents last month compared to the year before. In anticipation of violence this holiday weekend, the NYPD is adding foot patrols, particularly in central Brooklyn, where more than a quarter of last month's shootings took place. You'll see them in cars, you'll see them on foot, in uniform, and quite frankly, some members from other divisions may not be in uniform. The NYPD has blamed this summer's crime spike in part on the nearly $1 billion in police budget cuts amid the pandemic and protests. City Hall's plan of action is to work closely with local community groups they call violence interrupters. The number one best strategy for making sure people understand how to stay safe is hearing voices from their own community. One example of this may be Coney Island, where the 60th precinct has seen a 36% decrease in shootings this year, an anomaly in southern Brooklyn, where there's been a 340% increase. Gun violence is a is an illness, so we attack the illness by trying to engage the uh, people that possibly may be involved. We do that through seminars, we go into the schools, but mostly we're in the street. The Coney Island anti-violence collaboration got state funding last year when the neighborhood was seeing an uptick in shootings. That money helped to expand their counseling and educational program since. It gave people a sense of community, a sense of unity, and a sense of healing. So I think that played a role. We don't know if it's going to work. We didn't know it was going to work when we started, but we see now how many years later that it actually works and it's actually making a difference. The anti-violence group says it helps that Coney Island is a relatively small neighborhood so their outreach can be more targeted. This weekend, the NYPD will also have special units out to make gun arrests who will be in uniform but travel in unmarked vehicles. From Coney Island, Brooklyn, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.